Hey everybody, Mattisfaction here, and today I'm going to uh, wipe the crap off of this, and then I'm going to show off a, uh, a Lancelot prototype wallet, and uh, you know, just uh, talk about it. Come on, come on now, come on, come on now, come on, you can do it, come on, let me, uh, come on, alright, that's just wasting time, anyway, so, uh, here we go, this is a Lancelot prototype, handcrafted creation, and, uh, I've been using it, I took out all my cards, I had cards in there, and you could see my, my face and my ID when it was right there. But I left these things just because, you know, there's no personal information amongst it. Uh, I've been using it to hold my toothpick and a flashlight and a Wingard wearable's quill. I find that it fits perfect. The, uh, the, the toothpick is not, you can put a pen here. But, you know, I have a pen on my keychain, so I just put the old tooth and picking in there. Um, you know, here's a here's a large pen. Uh, you could have a pen sticking out if you want. Or just use a, a short pen. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, going topless now, huh? Uh, that's a pretty cool pen. Zebra, but that's not why we're here. What else could you put in there? You could put in some, some nail clippers, maybe? There you go. I mean, really, this kind of wallet is, uh, you know, your choice. I chose to put in my toothpick. Whoop. My UV flashlight. I like to go look for scorpions sometimes. And, uh, you know, occasionally I, I come across things that glow in the dark. Oh, beverage check. Monster. Black. Uh, pocket check. I carried this bad boy today. I think this is called the Control. But it's a big, beefy blade. I enjoy it immensely. D2 Steel. Look at that logo. Tonto with a drop point. So it's a Dronto. Some jipping and a thumb hole. This could constitute to some harponage. Anyway. Boop. And Gary put on this. Uh, by the way, I got this from Gary. Last Ranger. Uh, this little bead here. And he made this lanyard. With his own hands. But anyway, back to the wallet. So this wallet has been pretty cool because it's like a, a minimalist wallet. My other wallet is a trifold full of crap. This is meant to just put in like a flashlight, a pen, maybe a little tool, a couple of cards. And then... It opens and what's cool is it's got this little clip here so you could put in some some Skrilla right there uh, let's pretend this here is uh, said Skrilla a hundred dollar bill you just put it right there and you latch it into place boom that, that money ain't going nowhere and this is uh, thicker than than uh, you know Skrilla why do you say Skrilla I don't know I'm panicking but there you go, you know, you got your, your money in there to be secure. Some of you guys carry more money than me. I carry money that fits on plastic and goes in there. I, I move things a lot, so I'll try not to. Here you go. Uh, 
But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. The only complaint I have, by the way, I don't like to complain about my homeboy's works, because I, I don't like it, but sometimes I've noticed when I put some money in here, when I have my flashlight, it gets a bit bulgy right here, which in turn makes this kind of, instead of being flat, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's slanted, so sometimes the, the snaps don't line up when when you have some stuff in here. Like, let me make this thinner. Let me make this thinner. Okay, this is about the size of a, a thousand dollar bill, which is something that I normally carry. So, you know, you just slide it in there. Close it. And then, you know, you snap it. But once you start adding more... Sometimes you you have trouble. So the only complaint I have is if you have a flashlight, it gets this bit of a bulge. And then the wallet kind of opens up here. But other than that, this thing has been pretty sweet. Rides nice in the pocket. And of course it's leather and handcrafted. And if you're worried about the, you know, the flashlight... You know, you don't have to you don't have to put a flashlight in there. You could put something skinnier. Whoops, let me just throw it. You know, once it's flat, then it's perfect. But I like the the color it has and the green texture or texture, the green stitching. And I like the idea of this little money clip snap thing. It's an extra peace of mind in a in a minimalist wallet. So if the slanted thing is an issue, you can just put tools in there. You don't need to have a flashlight. I just did because, you know, it's fun. But, you know, once you do that, it's a bit better. Open that up. Boom. Got your 40 G's cash right there. Uh, you know, send all your, your Rockstead... Uh, undesirables to uh matisfaction uh he'll take care of them but uh you know this is pretty cool and uh it holds uh quite a few cards i didn't put too many i put like a bank card id card my fingerprint card and my first aid cpr and then of course these two fingers So, uh, it, uh, it can hold a bit. I do like it. I do like this wallet. I'm normally a, a bifold, trifold fan. But, you know, I wanted to give it the uh, honest go, and I did. And, uh, I do like it. I'm new to the minimalist wallet arena. And, uh, you know, I do like it. Like I said, the only problem, or maybe not a problem, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but just the flashlight making that bulge, and then it opens up like that a little bit. Let's, let's demonstrate again. Go ahead and put that light right there, and then, you know, that's it. Just the, just that little bulge. It's the only issue. Well, it's not, oh, I keep saying issue and problem. I don't know if it is. It could just be me. Uh, but I wouldn't even know how to how to go about fixing that. But what's good about it is it adds another extra little to hold on to that 90 G's you carry in your wallet. And uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and Put this in here. This represents the 120,000 we've been talking about. Snap. And then, you know, look at that. Extra protection. And if you had money, it's it's not going anywhere. Your 150k will be just fine. Right. 
feed me, Seymour. Give me money. I apologize for nothing. But, you know, this is cool. I really dig it. Um, maybe instead of a flashlight, you can go ahead and get yourself some ninja wood. I like this piece too, by the way. It's very nice. Look at those deep cuts. Look at that. That's, uh, that's great. Slap yourself some ninja wood in there so you have a little fidget, and that keeps it flat and sexy. Look at that. We're so happy together. What else could you put in here that's not so fat? Definitely not you, Metisfaction. Hey, hey. You know what? Maybe, uh... Maybe a cool little Rough Rider? I forgot what this one was. What is this one? Oh, a pen. Or is it? Oh, stab, stab, shank, shank. Give me your money. I forgot about this. And then I think he twisted to get the pen out. Yeah. And it writes. How do you close it? There we go. But, you know, you can take out. You don't need a toothpick like I do. I got Bryce's. That's fine if something sticks out above the lip. You know, I just, I'm, I like things even. But, you know. Maybe if you got rid of most of that pen. Schlink! And the leather's ruined. I wouldn't do that. But, uh, yeah. So, this is, uh, pretty cool stuff. I like the wallet. It's, it carries comfy in the, uh, pocket there. Especially when you don't have, a like a big bulgy trifold in there and uh you know it works great i like it i think i might have put too much stuff in here and uh you know it comes tight so when you put stuff in there it'll it'll form around it like you can see the the flashlight and indentations because i've just been carrying it i do i deal with it But, you know, I carry the toothpick. Maybe if you put something fat on this side, maybe it would balance out. That ain't gonna fit. I'm not gonna even try. Ninja, I need you. Ninja's always got my back. There we go. There, maybe it balances out. Yeah, it does balance out a little bit if you have something bigger. Well, I got my flashlight, I got some touch wood. This would be your IDs. Look at that. That fits perfect. Like it was meant to be. Oh, I realized it wasn't even my camera. I was just doing my own thing. I like that. Uh, I hope you can't hear that. Because uh, the copyright. <laughs> we don't need that. Nobody cares about what's his face. But, you know, this is cool. Let's see how it works with the uh, double... Double barrel. Put that uh, 200 G's right there. And uh, snippety snap. Money X better than that. Yeah, oh yeah, that snapped easy. Okay, maybe that's a trick. You just need to not have a toothpick there and put something fat. Get two fatties in a pod here. And uh, yeah. Overall, okay, I'm rambling. This is a good wallet. I like it. I'm going to send it to Stevie next. This is like a, a pass around wallet so he can try it. See what he thinks. These grooves will, you know, change to his likings. Let me get Ninja's wood out of this slot. Slot. And, uh, you know, this is, this is clean now. And, uh, this bad boy is going to go to said Stevie. Just toss it in an envelope or something. It'll be fine. Just kidding. But, uh, yeah. This is cool. So Lancelot wants to know if he should make more of these. And, uh, you know, I think he should. Expand the, the you know, expand, uh, you, you know what I'm saying. Expand the, you know, expand. 
my other wallet that he made me is uh, over there. But we're focusing on this one. And then I have my trifold, which the trifold's being retired. I'm going to switch to the black and red one that he made me. But I had to use this one, give it a go. And uh, I will. So this is going to Stevie. I like it. Very minimal. I like the clip. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got for you. And I'll catch you next time. Hee <laughs> hee!